Hi guys, welcome to my unboxing video with the Samsung Note 20 Ultra 5G phone. First off, it's a very minimalist black box. Very simple and very typical of Samsung. As you can tell from the S Pen image on the front, I've picked up the Mystic Black version. So if we have a quick look around the box. On the side there, as you can see in the light, Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G. The rest of the box is pretty much all black. The box does seem pretty cheap. It doesn't feel like a premium box that holds a $2,000 phone inside. Let's get it open. There it is, the shiny new Note 20 Ultra 5G. So pull the phone out by that little plastic tab. There's that massive camera bump. Put that to the side for a sec. Let's see what we get in the Australian version. This is a little maintenance booklet, so you know what to do if you have any issues with the phone. Next up is the super fast charging adapter. It's got a nice premium feel to it. Love how it's just pretty much all black and it's got a USB type C port. Now there's a little black box in here. What do you get in here? Looks like it's absolutely nothing. It's just a spacer box. I was thinking it could have been some extra tips for the S Pen, but guess not. Hopefully the other boxes aren't spacer boxes. So this is the USB type C to USB type C charger. Seems like it's longer than normal charging cables, so that's pretty good. Next up are the headphones, which are powered by AKG. It comes with extra rubber tips for different sized ears. So there's the control module, the nice headsets, AKG. On the other end of the headset cable, it's got a threaded covering, so it seems it will be very durable. It also has a USB-C type connector, so no need for adapters for your phone. There's one more box stuck on the underside of the lid. This box contains your SIM pin, and also a getting started guide. Now we'll take a look at the all new Mighty S Pen, which is now located on the left hand side, as opposed to every other note which was on the right hand side. As we can see it's all black, no dual tones like there was on my Note 8. Huh, it doesn't even say Samsung on it. I'll grab my Note 8 and we'll compare the pens. So on my Note 8, it was on the right hand side, but it's missing. There it is. So the Note 8 pen has a dual tone and it says Samsung on it really nicely. Just makes it feel more premium. The pens seem to be the same size. They look pretty close if they're not. I can't really tell what the difference in size is. Besides on the new pen, the button is a bit smaller and there's no bloody logo. I know it's just a logo, but on a $2,000 phone, it just takes away from the premium feel. I know there'll be someone out there that agrees with me. Give me a thumbs up if you do. We'll take a quick look at the new build of the phone. On this side, there's no buttons, absolutely clean. On this side, the volume up and down and power buttons are there. I'm so happy there's no Bigsby key. And at the bottom, you've got the S Pen on the left, some speaker grills, the USB Type-C charging port, a microphone hole, as well as the protective film that comes with the phone. SIM card slot up the top, plus microphone, and just look at that massive camera bump, which seems to be the normal now. Are you a fan of the massive camera bumps? Does it bother you? Let me know in the comments below. I'm upgrading from my Note 8, so if we just compare them for a second, just because I have it on hand, guess I should take it out of the case. So it's only a little bit bigger, a few mils bigger than the Note 8. Not that much. Of course, the camera bulge is huge compared to the Note 8. Just in case you're wondering why I have a SIM card pin on the back of the phone, it's because it just comes in handy whenever I need one. And it's got a case on it, so it's never in the way anyway. 
I really love the color of this phone. This is the Mystic Black 512 gigs. It's uh, like a gunmetal black, but uh, a lot nicer, and it's very susceptible to fingerprints and smudges. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, it was a different view on the phone. If you'd like me to answer any of your questions, just comment below or message me on Facebook. Thanks again. Hopefully, you can like, share, and subscribe. Take care.